Minister for Police and Justice of Suriname concludes successful visit to Ghana, continues trip with visits to Botswana. Han Kenneth Amoxi, the Minister of Justice and Police of Suriname, has concluded a successful visit to Ghana this week, where he met with the Attorney General and the Foreign Affairs Ministry in Ghana to further strengthen the partnership between our two countries. The minister delivered remarks to the Suriname ambassador to Ghana her. Excellency Fidelia Grand Gallon about her good works in Ghana for the country of Suriname and the Suriname's vision and approach to Africa. And at Cape Coast Castle spoke about the brutality and legacy of the transatlantic slave trade and the importance of remembering its impact on our history and current fight for justice. The protocol established by the ambassador and also the ambassador for the Americas. Uh, let me say that I'm very happy to be here. I'm be accompanied by the second in command, uh, the police force of Suriname, Commissioner of Police, uh, Melvin Pinas. Uh, for me, it's a very great experience to to be here as a descendant from uh, from uh, you guys to say so, <laughs> and it, it it took us like uh, 500 years. To, to be here again yesterday evening I visited the, the fort where we, they gathered the, the slaves together on their, their journey to, to other places in the world. Uh, today we have a, a scattered uh, black people in, 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 in the Americas. Uh, everywhere in the world we have black people. So for me to set foot on, on African soil, uh, it's, uh, it means a lot to me. On his last day in Ghana, the minister met with 30 influential Ghanaian diplomats, entrepreneurs, chiefs, and media in a dinner meeting at the Airport View Hotel during his remarks. In an interview with Frank Owusu Asayama on FOCA TV, the minister expressed how happy he is to be in Ghana and Africa. He also spoke about the Ghana. Suriname similarities and the importance of the relations. Oh, what what brought me here is to know the country. This is my first time in uh, on African soil in Ghana, and uh, you know the slave trade. It scattered us, but uh, I am happy to be here as a government official. I had planned a official trip. I was there yesterday evening. It was a uh, very emotional. Uh, uh, meeting, very emotional experience for me, and uh, I encourage everyone uh, who can do it to, to make this trip. Uh, but f for me, as a government uh, official, it's important to foster relations between the Republic of Ghana and Suriname because we are diaspora living in Suriname, and it's good to be welcomed. The Minister of Justice and Police in Suriname oversees various responsibilities, including enforcing human rights, providing social legal assistance, and maintaining public order and peace in the country. The Suriname Ambassador to Ghana, Her Excellency Fidelia Grand Gallon, also expressed how happy she was to host her minister in Ghana. I feel honored that the minister came in the first place, and it is historical because it's his first time on the soil of Africa. And when we call upon the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to assist us, because he's the Minister of uh, Justice and Police, so the legal offices were very important. And we could even have a meeting with a copyright uh, office uh, that is under the AG of Ghana, and there has been a lot of stuff that we learn from them, and Suriname will continue to come back because the system that will make things happen for the best of the people of Ghana, and also Suriname, because we are interrelated, whether official or unofficial, one of the most important thing of uh, copyright is that who created something. But uh, we came to the conclusion, to the conclusion that 
uh, Suriname and Ghana has common folklore, which is the Anansi story. Because we know it, we have it. We didn't come to Ghana to learn, but we took it there because it is ours and we still have it. So if Ghana say I'm the land of Anansi, Suriname is saying that too. And the diaspora, a lot of countries, especially in the Caribbean, have that too. And we all own it. So it's folklore that is owned commonly by countries and people of different countries. In this space, Suriname and Ghana, because we feel like our Anansi story are the real one because we talk, we learn. There are a lot of things, but this is just an example. There are many, many fields, especially the, the, the copyright for books that has been written and also movies who wrote the story because some stories can be copied. Who has it and how can we deal with it? How can we promote one another and how can we help one another in those fields of law and order and everything? Uh, how do we comply with what is and what was?